Can we talk about how the sum of all positive integers is equal to negative 1 12th? Sure, I'll show you exactly why the sum of all positive integers is equal to negative 1 12th. It starts with, okay, mathematicians, you have to be honest with me. Were you going into the comments and angry posting? I just want to know if I got you. So the short answer is it doesn't. This is like one of the big misconceptions, the big myths that's been popularized and kind of pop science and math. People like to say that in physics it equals negative 1 12th, but that's not even entirely true. There were equations related to the Casimir effect where the difference between two values was approximated to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, so on, so on, so forth, and that difference was able to be estimated as 1 12th. Sorry, I mean negative 1 12th, I misspoke, and I just don't want to re-record that clip again. And that is a useful calculation. But that does not mean that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals negative 1 12th. It, it just doesn't. It doesn't in physics, and it doesn't in math. Negative 1 12th was used to bypass the problem of getting an infinite sum in one set of equations for one application of physics. That's all. And any mathematician or physicist worth their salt will tell you that it's not equal to negative 1 12th, but the fact that negative 1 12th worked in this instance of studying the Casimir effect means that there's probably something there that we don't know yet, and that's okay. There's still more research to be done. So yeah, sorry, the sum of all positive integers is not negative 1 12th. That is, unless you want to troll a mathematician, because there's nothing that will get them more angry than saying that. So I guess uh, it, the sum of all integers is not negative 1 12th, unless it was really, really funny to make someone angry by saying so. I'm an awful person. Don't spread misinformation.